All right, so you've decided on your book, you've taken your pictures, you've edited your pictures, and you've imported them over to iMovie. Now, like I mentioned, there's two ways that I use to record my book. I'm gonna show you the first one. Now, one thing to keep in mind, if you mess up, don't worry about it. Because just like I'm going to do on this video, I'm gonna purposely mess up and re-record that page. I'm not gonna stop, because when you stop, you're gonna have to re-record and you start all over. Don't ever stop. Keep going, because you can always make edits in the video as you're editing. All right, I'm gonna get started. Hey guys, I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite books by my favorite author, David Williams, called The Creature Choir. Now I want you to pay attention during the story because there's gonna be things that we're gonna be doing after we listen to the story. Let's get started. The Creature Choir by David Williams. Illustrated by the artistic genius, Tony Ross. Warble was a walrus who loved to warble. She warbled on the ice, bum, bum, bum. She warbled underwater, boom, boom, boom. She warbled all day and all night. Warble's dream was to warble all over the world and maybe one day even take part in the Great Big Animal Talent Show. There was just one teeny weeny problem. The sound she made was absolutely shocking. Whenever Warble warbled, seals scampered. Boop, bears bolted, dash, and puffins pegged it, flutter. Warble warbled so loudly that the ice sheet would shatter, crack, splash, plunging her huddle of walruses into the freezing cold sea. Icebergs would explode, bang, pelting everybody with ice cubes, dash, bosh, dash. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to edit this together. So as you can see right here, first I've got to import this video just like I did the other part. Now that you've recorded a video clip, I'm back here in my movie and I'm going to import my video. Now for this, you see the plus button in the top right hand corner. I'm gonna click that. And since that was a video, I'm gonna click on video. And I'm going to go to all. And I can see right there's my video. I'm going to hit plus to add it. Now, that's gonna automatically put it at the very front of my video. All right, I've got my recording there. Now, what I would do in this situation is I would then add the photo that I want. So I'm gonna add that first one, but instead of clicking the plus, I'm gonna click those three dots once I've clicked on that picture. And from here, I can choose if I'm doing a blue screen or green screen, uh, picture in picture, screen split, uh, cutaway. So there's all different things. Let me just show you those real quick. If I want a screen split, I click that. Now, when it gets to that portion, it's gonna show the book on one half and me on the other. The other thing I can do, I'm gonna add another one here. I'm gonna click on that same one. I'm gonna click on those three dots and I'm gonna click on cutaway. When I do cutaway, it's gonna go just to the book. See, I've got the picture, or the side-by-side -side and the cutaway. Depending on what you wanna do, might, you might wanna do it a different way. The third way I'm gonna show you really quick is if you were to do the picture-in-picture, -picture, that one's kinda of cool too. I like that for different situations. Once I put it in there, if I select it, I can click on it and I can move it around. Let's see if I click on the little arrows. Now I can move it, I can change the position of it, I can make it bigger, I could have it be sitting on my shoulder, whatever way you'd like to tell your story. Now in mine, I personally like to see the book more than myself, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click on, oops, I'm gonna click on that file, I'm gonna delete it from there because I don't want it there now. That's the one I want. I'm gonna get rid of the picture in picture. All right. Then I'm gonna lay that over where it's going to start. Let's get started. Right there's where I wanna put it. So I'm gonna click on it and hold. And try to move it over to there. Let's see if I've got it. Let's get started. The Creature Choir by David Williams. Now, if I wanna make that bigger, I click on it and I can drag it shorter or longer and then I can add the other photos as well. So I'm going to go to the next photo in the thing, which I believe is right there. And again, I liked that cutaway. So I'm gonna add that there. Okay, 
I'm going to add this other one. Again, I like cutaway. And I like, now I can move, play with those and put them where I want them to show. So, The Creature Choir by David Williams. Illustrate. And I want it to come down there. I'm going to put this closer. Whoops. On an iPad, you've got to click, touch, and hold, and then it will allow you to grab it. Artistic genius, Tony Ross. Warble. Gonna move this one as well. Remember, click and hold. And then you heard where it said warble. So. The Creature Choir by David Williams. Illustrated by the artistic genius, Tony Ross. Now one of the things I'm gonna to wanna to do is I wanna make sure that this fits to where that page ends. So I'm gonna play and see if we can get that to end when this page ends. Warble was a walrus who loved to warble. She warbled on the ice, bum, bum, bum. She warbled underwater, bloom, bloom, bloom. She warbled all day and all night. So I'm going to click and then I'm going to touch on the end and drag it longer. Let's see if we've got it now. All over the world. And maybe, and maybe one day even take part in the Great Big Animal Talent Show. There was just one teeny weeny problem. Okay, so that's where I need to get it to. So I'm going to click. I'm going to click and drag it further. See if we've got it made was absolutely sh just a little bit more shocking too far all right absolutely shocking whenever all right so now i've got that lined up i'm going to go ahead and add that last photo here so that you can see let's see absolutely shocking that would have been right here. Now, I like to have them touch because then I don't have a little black space. Shocking! Whenever Warble Warble and actually it'd be a, seals. I like to have them touching, so it would only be a, a black screenshot if you recorded the other way, which I'm going to show you next. But from here, that's all you would have to do. So as you can see, it goes from me talking. Story. Let's get started. To the creature choir. The creature. Now, if you remember, I told you I was going to show you how to edit. We're going to show you how to edit out mistakes as well. Now, let's say right here, you can see I started. So I'm going to click on that file and I'm going to just drag that down to where I started. And right here is where I started. All right, so you've decided on your book. You've taken your pick. So now if I want to take all that out, there's a couple things I can do. I'm going to show you to where I got started. I'm going to go ahead and skip up here. Hey, guys. Right there's where I start. So you can see I've got it right there. I've touched on it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see at the bottom now where it says split. I'm going to click split. Now that, if I've made a mistake, I can do a split where I've made the mistake and at the end of the mistake to just cut it out. But I'm going to go ahead and click now on that file before there. And I'm going to hit delete. And now you'll see my movie starts right where I started reading the book. Hey guys, I'm excited to share with you one of my favorite books by my favorite author, David Williams, called... The Creature Choir. Now I want you to pay attention. And there you go. Next I'm gonna show you how to record without doing it this way.